Hey everybody, I'm just on my way back from lunch, uh, sitting here waiting for traffic to pass, and uh, I was listening to a Sean T podcast today, and he said something that just really kind of struck me um, in a really deep, kind of profound way, and um, I think it might help some of you too, because I know some of you are, um, you know, struggling or having a hard time reaching your fitness goals, uh, and part of that is because it's just been so difficult maybe and so easy for you to really kind of give up on yourself if you haven't either seen the results that you wanted or seen the progress that you're wanting um, or maybe not as quick as you wanted so and after he said it I realized that that was probably um, one of the things that kept me going even when I didn't see my own progress when I was in the early days of my health and fitness journey so I apologize for the shaking because I am driving but um, he said don't focus on where you want to be So don't focus on the fitness goals. I mean, it's good to have them, but don't focus on the fitness goals of where you want to get to. Focus on what you don't want or where you don't want to be anymore or things that you want to change. So if you are tired of feeling gross about yourself, these are things that I felt. Feeling gross about yourself, feeling overweight, bloated, just tired and sluggish. If you are tired of that, focus on not wanting to be in that place anymore. Don't focus on what the end uh, goal is. Just keep doing the actions that are opposite of the things that got you into the situation. So if you're feeling gross and bloated, having a hard time with your weight loss, uh, and the things that you've been doing to get there have been like watching TV for hours on end, uh, eating fast food, drinking soda, drinking alcohol, whatever, focus on the fact that you don't want to be in that place anymore, which means you're taking the actions, which are the exact opposite of that. So instead of sitting for hours watching TV, you are getting physically active every day. Instead of eating fast food, junk food, sodas, you're drinking lots of water, eating fresh fruits, vegetables, lean meats, that sort of thing. And don't worry about where you're trying to get to. Uh, If you're consistent and um, which the VIPers, we're going through the, the compound effect. If you're consistent with your effort, then over time, the rest of that will come. The rest of that will fall into place. You'll start to see the weight fall off. You'll start to hit those goals. But don't worry about those goals. Worry about getting away from the place that you're at right now that you are sick and tired of being at. So don't focus on where you want to be. Focus on what you're tired of. uh, Focus on the um, getting away from the place you're tired of being at. He said it much more elegantly, or eloquently, I should say. Um, but I hope you get my point. Don't focus on where you want to get to. Focus on what, on what you don't want to be anymore. I think that was probably better. But anyway, it hit me in a profound way. I'm sorry I can't repeat it in the same way that he did to have probably that more profound effect on you. But um, if you want to check out his uh, Change in 2016 podcast that came out last week, I think. Um, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a little long with the story of a, a gal that we've that he was friends with, I guess, but um, at, towards the end of the conversation is where that comes up. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it'll inspire and motivate you to stay on your journey, not because of your end goal, but because you're tired of being the way you used to be. So I'm going to go before I lose signal um, in this area. It's pretty bad. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's hump day. Get your squat challenge done and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.